there's another gentleman, I believe. Um, if, um, if, we could let, if you'd just let us have your name before you speak. Yep. Hi, my name is Calvin Quo. Calvin is Calvin Hobb. Quo is K-U-O. Thank you. Hi, um, I'm a fourth-year student at OCAT University. I study environmental design. So um, I'm here today because I'm doing this plot of land for my thesis project, which I found is in a very strategically placed area. City is like a living organism. Uh, it, it breathes and grows. And I, I, I don't, I've never seen suburb and downtown as two, a dichotomy. The suburbs without downtown would not be as great as the city is today. And downtown without suburb would not live and survive. So as any living things, there's a rhythm. We breathe, we sing, we paint, and we do sports. All those things require rhythm. So as, as, as things like a city, which is a physical manifestation of our collective, also has a rhythm. So if you can see from the map, the rhythm, we have a, a corridor of high rises, and we have a small patch of College Park in the, in the bottom right. So as you can see from there to the Bloor Street, that plot of land is very strategically placed for another uh, space for, uh, for rest. And what I want to say is downtown is made and designed in the scale of human, not cars. So unlike suburb, which is in the scale of cars, downtown is human scales. So even though there are parks around us, they're not in the scale that humans will find comfortable. <coughs> so in, in a place so densely populated, if we put two more high-rises there, that, how I see it is that the road to prosperity is not made by military marches, which is uniform, anonymous, but more like a dance. Vitality has a rhythm, and it's not something that we can just plot down, require some thoughts. And as a student, we're very fortunate to travel around the world and see other cities. And a lot of times, we'll come back and lament how Toronto can be this and that. But what we usually realize afterward, when we mature and our thoughts have fermented, is how great Toronto is, exactly because we are young. I may be the youngest here in this room, but uh, together as a collective, as Toronto, we are a young city. And being youth is exciting. We have potentials, potentials to make the right choices. So maybe a lot of us have thought in their past that they wish they can do something when they're younger, and they didn't. And I think this is one of the times we don't have to wish. The opportunity is in front of us that we can grab it. And 10 years, in 50 years, when we're all gone, we know it's the right choice because Toronto is bigger than us. It's bigger than all of us. And I'm grateful for the opportunity. And I hope you guys consider the opportunity to do something that you know it's going to last more than just two condo buildings that you pass by and just like, oh, another two condo buildings. Thank you. <clears throat> okay, thank you very much. That is the end of the speaker's list. We're